So now, who, what group are you with? Huh? What's the name of your group? China Rainbow Network. Look at us. <laughs> oh gosh, how do I get one of those? <laughs> I can give you one. I, oh, that would be super good. I guess. So Got it. Uh, now tell me what you exist for and what the problems of Chinese uh, people of Chinese descent uh, encounter. Because I've heard interesting stories about China being more open on the gay issue, say, than Russia. Sure, sure. It's, yeah, it's very interesting. So, in America, I guess, uh, most of the year, so strongest obstacle is uh, religion issue. But right. in China, not there's no strong religion, but we, what we have is family value. Right. All the parents want that, hey, right. you need to have children. Right. That's what... That's one thing, and the second is just the, the general ignorance of LGBT. Most right. people just don't know there's LGBT. This LGBT that's only in America, or other there, there Western a, countries. There was a woman who's a filmmaker at Columbia University who made a short film about a lesbian or was transgender. I forget which, but it was on film shorts on the public down New York City one. So you might find this filmmaker in China because she did a great and a short five or ten minutes. Really? Okay. Yeah, there is a famous Chinese. So as you mentioned, yeah, there are already some public figures like uh, public uh, public coming gay, and then there's uh, transgender, which is uh, like a now the stand up public, the comedian. Now, the public figures are any of them like celebrities, Open. or yes. they, they don't lose their job if they identify themselves as gay. No. So no. China is, a, is an open society at this point. We know I, that, I wouldn't we, I don't say want that. I don't want to get into Hong Kong because I don't want to get anybody in any trouble. But we know that China is open on some levels and closed on others. And China is getting much better and in a very fast speed. Right. It is. Yeah, we have Shanghai Parade. And, oh, uh, you do? Yeah, Shanghai, Shanghai Parade. parade. Oh, yeah. oh, you know, I've seen the parades on the various ones. I love Vietnam, but they did it. There was bicycles with rainbow ribbons so they could go off in every direction. They didn't have a permit. Indians were terrible because they were hiding their faces. It's so family value there. Yeah, but China Taiwan was great. We are already like a major cities in China. Very close to Taiwan. Yeah. Right. Right. And how many pride parades are there across China? Are you networked across China? Or is it difficult to interact? I mean, do you have gay discussion groups on the internet that's Chinese that's not linked to the outer world? It's from the Shanghai Parade, it's the same work style as I mean, you, uh, uh, like a New York uh, Parade. Right. So there's a website, you can registration, then there's a company can registration. Can you reach it from outside? Can you reach it from outside? From outside. The United States? Maybe you can, I guess there's... Because I know I the Chinese control the internal communications. So actually, so China, the LGD people in China are just, they just really want to succeed and like get education and get, get to the better life. And they avoid getting involved in the Hong Kong protest or stuff like, I mean, I'm not saying that... It's changing, it's changing. Yeah, it I know it's all change changing. Yeah. The whole thing is you always have to watch over stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's mainly the family problems. Are there gay bars in China? A lot of gay bars in oh, really? China. I want to go to China, uh, yeah. but go I said there. I don't speak the language. I understand you, you, English there won't scary. be anything. No, in, uh, you go to major cities, you can survive by English. My you friend just is working in Shenzhou writing the Chinese and English dictionary. He got a job there, Fraser Sutherland, from you know all, up in Canada. He just got back. So what percent in a major city I would be able to find someone who spoke English? Say I got lost. Just to look at, uh, just to look for like kids at uh, maybe twenties. They are mostly speaking English. because they emphasize learning English to get ahead, right? That's a, is, what's a it's choice very, second language? Is it English or something else? English is required for college entrance examination. Come on! Oh, so we all speak very good English. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so were you born in China? You no, I came here at 22. Oh, great! Yeah, and uh, uh, I assume you're a citizen of green card or whatever. No, no. I'm on my H1B. What's H1P? It's, it's like a short-time working visa. Working oh, so, visa. so you're one of those tech geniuses that, you know, anyone in the Philippines who becomes a nurse can become in the United States citizen. That's why the women in the Philippines become nurses. Slightly in China and in India, you become a tech whiz. And we are hiring 50,000 people from overseas 
for tech jobs because Americans aren't able to learn it or haven't bothered. They're too busy majoring in ancient history or English literature instead of yeah. catching what's in the world, right? We do something you guys don't like. <laughs> so, 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 so if, the Great Wall, if you were going to China, what, where would you go as a gay tourist? I mean, the big cities, what, two or three? If I was to fly, where should I land, and where would I be able to see the most of China, say, in LGBTC. a week or ten days? Oh, if you go to then it's if so. Speaking of like in general, like I suggest go to Beijing, Shanghai to see the modern city. Shanghai is a modern city. Hong Kong is a modern city. Beijing is a combination of old China and new China. And you, you can also go to Xi'an, which represents a uh, very Asian China. Has a very famous like. Is that, uh, is that just like a province town, like or yeah, Williamsburg, China. Williamsburg, a preserved, the preserved rural China the yeah, way it yeah. used to be. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. they have that as a tourist attraction, or is it just really just I that think way? It's more attraction. Yeah, like those terrorists. Uh, that, and and yeah. does American, you know, sometimes in these countries. You go and the official exchange rate is one peso to the dollar, but in Mexico, they, and even in Brazil, I could go out to a jewelry store and get 10 or 20% more for my American dollar than from a jeweler in Brazilian money because there was problems with inflation. Is the American dollar especially strong in China? I mean, should I carry more American dollars or should I change them when I get to Brazil? Actually, I don't know that do how exactly how it works. I am not familiar with that, but what I know is Chinese stuff getting more and more expensive. Prepare for that. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I was just in St. Martin in Bermuda. A can of tube of toothpaste was 99 cents, was 5.95 because it's a British colony. Wow, yeah, but in St. Martin, everything was dirt cheap, especially handicrafts. Are there any traditional handicrafts in China that, like, a unique thing that you because there's no future in hand. I like handicrafts. I can hate it. That's all they can do. I think well, there will be some. China, what would you get as a souvenir to bring home? That's made only in China, uniquely China, lightweight. Actually, it's maybe. I, I never think about that. Maybe <laughs> just uh, go whatever you never see in China. Well, it's very I difficult take? because what, what everything's I, made in China. What, what should I take? Because, like I tell you, I went to Brazil and a five cents pack of gum, this is 1960s, was two dollars. In other words, that was back in the days of high tariffs. So, if I go to China, will they have tooth, will they have everything that I'm used to? Toothpaste, hairspray. Maybe small Chinese traditional stuff is uh, something a good choice. But I'm talking about toiletries or stuff like that. Soap, all those things, are, there's no problem with getting any yeah, of no that problem. in China. Why there is any problem for that? China well, is modern. Know, who would expect chewing gum to be a problem when it is just, you know, like they Not tax China. certain things? Not okay, a well, then, give me the website again. Website? I didn't bring my name card. Just spell it for me with a letter. So China Rainbow Net dot org. China Rainbow Net N E T Net dot org. Okay. Well, well I'm hoping this gets you some stuff. I'll be putting it up on on YouTube. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, is there a way that through that group I could get a guide to China or connect with people in China? Who... Yeah, let me know. Can huh? you, you can connect our website. We have email address there. Oh, great. I can. Yeah, oh, I can maybe recommend some people for you. Thank you very much. No problem.